and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we're going to take a look at one of the institutions of higher learning that's right here in Hampton, Thomas Nelson Community College. And my guest is the president there, Dr. John Dever. Welcome. Thank you, Robin. It's good to be back with you. We have talked before. In fact, you were one of my first guests when we started Round Robin. And it was one of my first appearances after I became president of Thomas Nelson. So I'm delighted to be back with you. Isn't that great? And now that, you know, we've been doing this, each of us, for a few years, <laughs> things have changed on your yes, end. Thomas uh -huh. Nelson is really a constantly changing um, place to suit the economic and educational needs. Well, that's one thing that we pride ourselves on is responsiveness to the needs and aspirations of our community. And so as those change and as uh, we, we uh, work with our programs and services to make sure that we are in line with those. And throughout that, we are always committed to doing it uh, with excellence. Your mission then really is, I mean, it's broad. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> it's not it's, like, it's you know, a We call it comprehensive. Yeah. Yes. And, and so uh, we, the, the way I get the shorthand I give for this is that uh, Thomas Nelson is there to provide convenient and affordable access to high quality collegiate education and workforce training for the residents of the Virginia Peninsula. And so we put all that together and uh, we try our best to do that day in and day out and we think we're very successful in our efforts. Well, let, let me talk about affordability because it's been a huge issue as you know, more and more kids um, have taken on large loans mm -hmm. to get through college or have gone and gotten advanced degrees, especially when the um, job market was a little squishy and, and taken on more loans. How can, how does Thomas Nelson work into that equation? Okay, well, of course, again, affordability is very, very important for us. Con combined with, uh, with uh, uh, excellence, which gives us uh, which gives us value. Uh, we work to keep our tuition um, as low as possible. Uh, that's uh, from our mission from the very beginning, from the, uh, when we got started in the uh, 1960s. Uh, today, um, uh, for uh, our fall semester, starting in, in the fall 2016 semester, the tuition will be $151.45 uh, per credit hour. To translate that, uh, what that means is that a student can get a full year at Thomas Nelson, 30 academic credits, uh, one half of, a, of an associate degree, one quarter of a baccalaureate degree for just over $4,500. Now, I'm doing some math in my head because I'm the parent <laughs> of uh, some college students and you know, that is That's less a, than well, half uh, that, that is exactly, of we the see, tuition uh, at other state institutions. Uh, we're committed to less being less to than half, and in fact, it's, uh, it's down around a little bit over a third of uh, what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, and then, uh, you know, the other thing mm -hmm. is that people can live at home and mm -hmm. that people can have a job and to pay for at least some portion right. of so, their tuition. I mean, it's just a different mix. Yeah, and so, so many of our students uh, do have uh, life commitments other than education, mm -hmm. uh, family, job. Uh, we're used to dealing with those and we work very, uh, very closely with our students to, uh, to see that uh, they can fit education in with the other commitments that they have in, uh, in their life. 50% um, of our students receive uh, one, some form of financial aid or other. And so that, again, is another aspect that mm -hmm. makes, uh, that makes uh, Thomas Nelson affordable for so, many, for so many students and allows them to proceed with minimum debt uh, as the, uh, for those whose goal is to get a baccalaureate degree. And of course there are some careers or professions where an associate's degree might be the end of the line or uh -huh. some professional certification or things like that. Well, um, our program again in our comprehensive mission, uh, we have six programs that are designed primarily to match up with the majors uh, that students would pursue at, at universities. And then we have around 24 programs in the career and technical areas for students whose primary goal is to move on uh, immediately after Thomas Nelson to, uh, to employment and, and a career. 
Now, many for many students, uh, there that that's there's a combination of the two, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, students who sometimes go on for baccalaureate degrees come back to us for a career uh, and uh, training, and those who uh, pursue uh, careers uh, discover the power of learning, their capabilities, and they now become interested in, in further education. Um, in the area of career programs, um, we have the health professions, uh, and we have booming a, as yeah, those of us in the baby yeah, boomer generation <laughs> exactly. um, begin to age and are going to need more care. Yeah, I mean, exactly. It's and the nur huge need. nursing is one of our major programs. We have uh, we take on sixty students uh, here at our Hampton campus each year, and thirty students at our historic Triangle campus in Williamsburg each year. Uh, the students in Hampton start in the fall, the students in uh, Williamsburg start in the spring, and therefore a student who might not make it in one class can make it, can make it in, the, in the other. Uh, we also have our dental hygiene program uh, up at the Historic Triangle Campus. Of course, that's a very, very uh, mm -hmm. uh, competitive program, uh, and we have to limit the enrollment on that. And uh, we've invested recently um, strongly in our emergency medical services, for the EMT basics and for the paramedics uh, that are the res first responders and so essential well, uh, to, to, to our society. You yeah. know, when you look, Hampton has the combined firefighter EMT uh -huh. and 90% of the uh -huh. calls are EMT. I mean, there's, there's so, so we, much that they do. We, we are a major provider of that. And yes. again, because that's so critical to our community, We've invested over the past uh, three years very significantly in that uh, in that program. Um, we are also in the area of uh, of uh, business and public services. Of course, we have programs like accounting. Uh, we have uh, management. We have paralegal services. Uh, we have uh, administrative support technology. Uh, we have social services and and other areas that we offer there. In the area of the technologies, uh, we, we have uh, our efforts that are uh, engaged with uh, 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 mechanical engineering technology, mm -hmm. uh, electronics, automotive, uh, HVAC, and we're giving special attention these days to advanced integrative manufacturing and mechatronics and programs in those areas. Well, and that's so important for the workforce here. Mm -hmm. And in Newport News, where you have, you know, the, the factory mm -hmm. isn't the simple repetitive tasks oh, yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. They're very high tech. Yeah, they're autom automated and uh, they're digitally controlled. Mm -hmm. And there are wonderful jobs and careers available there, but you really have to know what you're doing right. with that. Uh, our uh, two programs that we've been developing in that, uh, in particular, uh, one is a more rapid uh, uh, program. It's, it's accelerated uh, in mechatronics. Uh, we received a major Department of Labor grant that allowed us to uh, invest over a half million dollars in a mechatronics lab that we have placed at New Horizons Regional Education Center, which, as you know, is yes. right next yes. to us on Butler Farm Road in the Hampton, uh, uh, in Hampton. Um, they had the space, we actually didn't have the space, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, with the uh, lease, they've been able to uh, renovate that space. We put the equipment in, uh, we've hired uh, uh, strong faculty for the program, uh, and we have uh, certifications for that program uh, that are international from Siemens, uh, uh, level one and level two in mechatronics. In fact, our faculty go to Berlin uh, to be oh, certified wow. themselves to, to offer that. Uh, so that's up and running. And this fall, we will actually be doing dual enrollment for high school students in the morning uh, and then in the afternoon and evening serving our adult student populations in mechatronics. The other major program we have, uh, we call it the AIM program, Advanced Integrated Manufacturing, is a two-year associate degree program that is designed to um, uh, give uh, students uh, project-based learning, that is learning by doing, mm -hmm. right. and uh, with required rotational co-ops. They will go through a number of uh, work-based experiences with a variety of companies in our areas. And the goal there is to see the manufacturing process in a variety of areas in a very broad way. 
So that Great experience. Uh, these are the these, these are the people that our our um, our companies tell us are their most valuable employees. They work between the engineers and the administration on one hand and the production workforce on the other. Mm -hmm. They see the big picture. They are the people who keep the uh, keep everything uh, going. They can problem solve. Uh, they can communicate. Uh, they can innovate uh, with the uh, with the efforts. So we have that uh, long range program uh, in advanced integrated manufacturing and then the accelerated program in mechatronics. And so we feel like we're really responding to that critical need that's particularly important here on the Virginia Peninsula. Well, I think that is also what's different about your mission from a traditional college mm -hmm. is, is traditional colleges would serve the students who may come from anywhere and go to back mm -hmm. to anywhere yeah. uh -huh. for the job. And here you're very geared towards serving the people who live here and serving the businesses to help train the, the right kind of workforce. Again, whether that's uh -huh. accountants or whether that's auto mechanics uh -huh. or, or sophisticated technology. Um, well, again, ways. we are blessed in uh, Hampton Roads to have wonderful institutions of higher education and a variety with a variety of different missions. But one of the things that set Tom, as sets Thomas and Nelson apart, as you say, is the great majority of our graduates are going to remain here. Mm -hmm. And uh, oftentimes are going to return to us at various stages of their life. I always like to cite the statistic that 45% uh, of our students are age 25 or older. Uh, so they're coming back to us uh, and, and uh, getting the uh, training and education uh, to advance themselves for both their personal growth and their professional the professional interest. Lifelong learning is, you know, is one of the buzzwords we hear now. And partly it's because we all change interests or we want some supplemental classes or we do something for fun. But partly it's careers are almost never a straight line anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, no. you meander. You don't, you know, I, my grandfather once told me, you must be very unhappy if you want to change <laughs> jobs. You've only worked there for 25 years. I'm like, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. But then once he retired, he actually taught. <laughs> so, you know, he had two careers too. But most of us... You know, we zigzag a little you know, bit. I, I certainly zigzagged in mine, mine as well. I certainly did not think I was going to end up here when I when I started back in uh, 1975 as an instructor of English at Thomas Nelson. Uh, so, so you came back too. Yeah, you know, I've seen my own career change again uh, in line with the opportunities that are out there and the needs that are out there, uh, and working in that regard. We know from many of our students that, in fact, we actually don't know the jobs that they're going to be in in 10 or 15 or 20 years. We don't know what jobs years. are going to exist in 20 years. But, <laughs> so. but we can prepare them to be learners. Mm -hmm. We exactly. can prepare them with the fundamentals. We can prepare them with the basic employability skills and general education skills that they need to deal with any situation as it comes along. And we view that as our role, uh, our role in education. I want to tell you about one other program, if okay. I could, that uh, is particularly important for Hampton uh, and, and, of course, all the peninsula, and that is our cybersecurity program uh, oh, that we, are, that we wow. are investing in. And uh, uh, it was actually uh, Hampton Economic Development uh, that years ago got with Thomas Nelson and said, you know, this is an emerging field. It's going to be very, very important in this region. Uh, can Thomas Nelson help us uh, prepare the workforce in this area? And so in conjunction uh, with Hampton Economic Development and our university and other, uh, other partners, uh, we have worked over the years to have an annual conference uh, that's uh, devoted to cybersecurity. We have developed a number of workforce programs to get people the certifications that are highly valued in the field, like mm -hmm. the CIS SAP. Uh, 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 certification, uh, uh, ethical hacker certification, and others. Um, and we are now developing um, academic programs uh, in that regard for the people who come in who might not have the experience in the field, but who want to see the opportunities here and grow in that. Mm -hmm. And um, we are seeking to become a center of academic excellence, uh, which is a federal designation. Uh, for cybersecurity at Thomas Nelson. So that's another area that we're giving a great deal of attention to. And again, it's not just Thomas Nelson, um, uh, Norfolk State University, uh, Old Dominion University uh, is also working on that. And of course, we are often involved in uh, particular programs or grants that they're pursuing 
in those areas. Part of the regional um, confluence uh -huh, of, of right. academic excellence it, in this area. Partnerships, collaboration, cooperation, that's so, so important. None of us can do it on our own. Uh, we all need to come together and, and figure out our particular, uh, our particular uh, opportunity uh, that we can do and what we can do best, but we need to do it in conjunction with each other. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I want to say, just from my personal experience, all three of the young men who mm -hmm. live at my house have gotten um, academic credits at Thomas Nelson for different reasons at different times. Mm -hmm. They've um, sometimes succeeded or dropped out or come back. It's people, again, don't have that straight path. You know, no. I've, got, I've got the one son who was at the governor's school and had the dual credits. Uh -huh, right. And uh -huh. I've got We're another one We're in auto that. mechanics uh -huh. and, and one working his way through an associate's. Yep. And um, it's, it's flexible. Well, I, I often say, uh, Robin, that there's no better perspective on what we do than the parents' perspective. <laughs> have, well, the kids, I hope, because yeah. some of them aren't kids anymore. Uh -huh. But yeah, it's, yeah, I think it... One of the things you guys really bring is that you work with each individual and mm -hmm. what their circumstances yeah. are. Because uh, not everybody can go off and uh -huh. live at a four-year college yeah. and then magically get a job yeah. after. I have the own experience <laughs> with my own son who, who graduated from Thomas Nelson with an associate degree in science, turned into a, quite a scholar there, uh, and uh, now has a PhD in biochemistry. And of course, I'm very, very pleased, uh, very, very pleased with them. But I saw the transformation took mm -hmm. place at Thomas Nelson. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much, and uh, please keep okay. doing what you're doing. <laughs> it's always great to be with you. We appreciate Thanks so much. it. And thank you for watching. I hope if you have a young person interested in education or just want to take some classes or retrain, re-prepare yourself to change jobs, you will think about Thomas Nelson. It's a great asset in our community.